Oh, here we go. They out here causing trouble, man. Police are looking to identify seven suspects for beating a man with a bat and robbing him with a scooter and backpack in Jackson Heights, Queens. Now they saying these is the migrants, man, acting a fool. You know, they out here causing trouble, man. I believe I they, they know. They know. You know what I'm saying? They know that they need them scooters to do the Uber Eats to get the money. But they give them a scooter out here. But they out here wilding, man. They out here beating people up. They underdressed for the weather. That my son got the slippers on. You yeah, know they, what they, they ain't prepared for a New York winter. So they, they don't got no coats. They said robbery's a holiday. Call it thanks for giving. So they out here, man. Now listen, United States, none of us really is from this land. We all, you know, was brought here somehow, some way, you know what I'm saying? The Native Indians, if you're not a Native Indian, you're not really from America. You might be born here, but your ancestors aren't originally from here. So who are we to say they don't they don't deserve to be out here? But what you mean, all right, you right. Who to say who are we to say, but all right. Now you gotta look at it from it's two ways you can look at this, right? Because mm -hmm. if you're going in, in your way from the historical premise, you're totally right. Like we don't, we can't even say we deserve to be. Here. I'm wrong. How I'm wrong? Tell me, talk to me, Jonathan. How I'm wrong? You native Indian? Hold up. Because you saying like from an aspect like you know the indigenous people that were here before we got here, and like you, you know what I'm saying so. The slaves was brought here, right? That is Columbus, this uh, on that note, you're you're right. But right. what I'm saying, uh, from the standpoint of a government being established, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and and rules and regulations that exist. Okay. Um we're citizens of America. I get that part. You know what I'm saying? And like they, they take taxes from us. Bro, so I, what my main thing is, like, they take money from us, but if they taking money from us to give the people, other people, you know what I'm saying? Don't you feel like that's robbery too? Well, America was built on robbery. They robbed America from the Indians, though. Columbus stole America, right? Whoever founded America, whoever it was. So I'm asking you this: if you fuck, I, I, I say you, you would be, but you know what I'm saying. Like it's some uh, or do you know there's people in New York City that um are undernourished and 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 can't like you know get three good meals for their family a day? That's a fact. All right, so how do you feel about like those people that struggle? But they American citizens, and they might get some some form of help, some form of EBT and all that. But like you know, or they might get some help, some assistance. But then you see some other people, you know what I'm saying, that just come from out of nowhere with bags and shit, and they getting all kinds of shit, my nigga. They getting cards with money on it. And then like sometimes like you look like you might go through the hassle. Like say if you call the drug charge in the projects, you can't go back to the projects. You know what I'm saying? But a motherfucker, they giving a, a whole immigrant family a whole project apartment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So but you out here trying to work and do your thing and be a, you know a, a, a regular paying citizen mm -hmm. but you see other people benefit okay so, but at one point we was all that migrants right at one point because how do we got russians here chinese people here indian people here puerto rican dominican cuban haitian they might have they FBA, fba african not right how do we got all these different nationalities so at one point we all was a migrant at some point it's just they turn Nah, it wasn't like I right, boo. Like we all wasn't migrants because some of these people had to come through and become naturalized citizens. They had to go oh, through. Process. They're in the process of being that. They haven't been naturalized citizens yet. I get yeah. that part. They got. That's what I'm saying. They they went through a process. Some of yeah, us had yeah. to pay extremes amount of bread during that process, my nigga. But you know what these guys been through to even get to America today in 2023? Yeah, I, know. They, I, I can imagine. I know they went through a lot of shit, bro. They have to go through paid mules and traffickers and cartels. Yeah, to them through. They lose family members. The women are being raped in travel. 
a lot of stuff is going on. So their story is, I'm not saying what's worse. I'm not trying to compare any story to the to the next, but they got their own story that they're dealing with right now and they travel to get to America. So they looking for a better life, right? The American dream. Now, yes, it's 2023. Just because our transition, our um travels happened hundreds of years ago, you know, the slaves being brought over on slave ships years, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. I get that. This is this, it's it's there, they're, they're the ones do, dealing with it right now in 2023. So I'm saying at that point, I'm saying, how can you say they wrong for you know? I get the whole part of like, oh, we tax we we, we, we tax paying citizens. I'm saying they business. wrong, but like boom. Now this is wrong. What they're doing, <laughs> what they're doing is wrong. You know, right, yeah, man and robbing them for a school day. So I'm asking you this: If you're looking at the situation, look at it from this standpoint. I'm gonna ask you this: Is yes or no? Are they making shit hot? Yes or no? They're making it hot for the other migrants. Yes. Oh my God! They're making it hot for all the migrants. So, all right, if they was outside in front of around your way, and they was catching robberies and shit, right? Mm -hmm. Then that's that's bringing unnecessary attention to your to your to around your way. Right you, or now we got something called cameras and baddie. Just from looking at these cameras, when I see these pictures, right, these still shots. Yeah. Before I even read the article or the comments, just by seeing how underdressed for the weather they are, I already said these got to be migrants. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So any cop or any type of law enforcement that sees, they, they're gonna know who they're not coming to ha pass us. You see what I look like? We've been for years. They're coming to hassle the migrants. You understand what I'm saying? Now, with a random Mexican or Venezuelan or Dominican might get, you know, because he comes outside dressed like that, might get targeted also. Yeah. So in that aspect, it is kind of hot it up for the ones that might look like that. But I'm just saying, for the most part, they know these guys are migrants, though. You understand what I'm saying? They know. They turn it into Venezuela and stuff like that, MS-13 and all that. But this is what they wanted. They wanted to make New York like this. This is why all these other governors sending their immigrants, their migrants up to New York, you know, sanctuary cities and things like that. This is what they wanted. So it's, it's bigger than just New York. Who ordered it though? But it's bigger than New York. We're just trying to make a way for them. Other states is contributing to it by sending them here and making it our problem. You don't agree with that? I agree. We're making our problem bigger than it has to be. All we're trying to do is, as a, as, as, as a state, New York, it's trying to help them. And so, you know what I'm saying? And we're not even getting the help. The, the main two states that are doing that are Florida and Texas. So they're contributing to our problems. But my, my thing is it's called the United States, which means we're a whole. You understand what I'm saying? Our, yeah. our military and our government is for the whole of the United I'm States. Sure. Like, I for the, all, the whole situation as a whole, yeah. who has the final say? Who's, who problem does this door land on at the end of the day? Um, I would say some part of the government. I don't know if it's the. the like, would you say Joe Biden, the president? I would. Nah, I would probably go. You know, because Joe Biden, we all know this president just a figurehead at the end of the day. You know, governor, maybe um the cabinet. You know, the, the Democratic Party, Republican Party, ones who get the bill signed and things like that. You know, the, the majority that you need to pass a bill, things like yeah. that. I would say that's more the, you know, than the president. The president is just the final signature. By the time he wants to build it, it's already passed or not passed. He just got to, you know, it's rare that they veto something that's been passed already, you know, that's been approved by the cabinets at the end of the day. But, you know, like I said, they have been starting trouble. But my thing, the kids that listen to Drill doing the same shit. So it is what it is, man. Yeah, they, they doing the same shit. You know they out here drilling. Exactly. Doing the killing. They just doing what they see everybody else doing.